In this video, I want to talk about three reasons why you probably shouldn't study math. Okay, so the first reason that you shouldn't study math is because you will likely get a job, which is good, but chances are if you just get like a bachelor's degree in math, you're going to get a job where you're not really going to use a lot of the math you learn. You know, as a math major, you take a lot of classes. You take advanced calculus, you take abstract algebra, you take complex analysis, you learn how to write proofs. And if you just get a bachelor's, chances are that you're not going to get a job where that's what you're doing, right? You're not gonna have a job where you're just writing proofs. I mean, it's just probably not gonna happen. So it's something to think about. So you do learn a lot of math, and if you stop at the bachelor's level, you're probably not going to be using all that math you learn in your job. One exception where you can use a considerable amount of that math is if you go into teaching. So like, say you get a job like as a high school teacher, you can still teach you know, some algebra and some calculus. So you'll get to use some math, but you're not really gonna get to use you know, all of the stuff you learned. Now you can still take a lot of that stuff you learned and kind of like incorporate it into your classroom, which I think is good. Uh, but chances are, if you get another job, like a regular job, uh, not in education, chances are you're probably not going to be using, you know, all of that math that you learned. So this is this is one of the downsides to studying math, right? Because you learn all of this stuff and then you just don't really get to use it anymore. So something to, to keep in mind, but it's really not that bad, right? Because you can always do self-study. You can always read math books. I mean, there's all kinds of things you can do to help keep your skills sharp. And so you can maintain, you know, all of that stuff that you actually learned in your four years of studying mathematics. The second reason that you probably shouldn't study math is that you might like it too much. I mean, you might say, what? Like it too much? Yes, that's a thing, right? The more math you study, sometimes the more you get into it. And it is super time consuming, trust me. It can just take all of your time. You know, you, you'll sit down and it's five o'clock in the afternoon and next thing you know, it's 10 o'clock at night and then you have to be up the next morning at six. It's like, oh my God. What happened to the time, right? So math is a big time sink and you might end up spending most of your time doing math. Now, that's not necessarily a bad thing, but it's something to be aware about, right? If you have friends and you know things you like to do besides math, you know, it's going to interfere, right? Chances are it's going to interfere. And you know, it's probably a good thing that you like it too much because math takes so much time and you know, people like what they're good at. People like doing things that they like, right? If you like doing math, chances are you don't mind spending tons of time on it. But still, it's something to consider, right? It's something to really think about because when you decide to study math, it's a huge time commitment. It's gonna to take tons of time. So just something to, to keep in mind. The third reason not to study math is a little bit strange, it's a little bit personal, but the thing is, people will view you differently. That's right. When you meet people for the first time, or even people you already know in your life, and you tell them that you're studying math, there's like this association between being like super intelligent and, and studying math. Like, oh, you study math? Oh, oh, well, yeah. You have like this immediate like respect and admiration from, from people you know. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. It's just sometimes the expectations that they have of you are a little bit high, you know? They view you as, you know, I'm a math person and math has a stereotype, right? There's like this nerd math stereotype, which I don't know, you know, stereotypes exist for a reason. Uh, you know, math does take <laughs> a lot of work and you spend a lot of time doing problems and doing math. So, you know, it is in some sense considered, you know, nerdy, but then people just, expect you to like be able to solve all of their problems like when their internet goes out they'll call you like hey my internet's not working you know what do i do you know or or hey uh my car has a check engine light do, do you know what that's about do you know how to fix that so there's like this expectation that you can solve all of their problems 
because you study math, which is which is definitely not true, right? You don't learn how to do all that stuff when, when you study math. It's, it's just math. You learn how to write proofs. You learn about algebra. You learn about calculus. You learn about sets. You learn all kinds of stuff, but people seem to assume that you, you know so much more than you actually do. And is this a bad thing? I don't think so, but I think it's something that you do have to get used to and it's something to consider if, if you're thinking about going into math. So those are three unlikely reasons that maybe you shouldn't study math. Do you have any other reasons we shouldn't study math? Anything else you think that people should know, you know before they make the jump, before they jump in to the world of math? Good luck.